Hi, my name is Lars. Now we have come to part 3 of my tutorials for Fitzwork, the image processing software. Now we will learn how to do batch processing. That's very useful when you have many files to process, for example, calibration and stacking. Before we start, we have to set up the debugging parameters. Open some image file you have. This one is the Galaxy M106. Now we got the raw image on the screen. It like, looks like a black and white image, but the color information is there. To get it, you have to demo psychic it or debugging it. You find a function on the processing and debugging. In this tutorial, we only use the simplest linear interpolation, but you can later try by your Astro. But we will see there are other much more advanced trick to do. Here you can set the gain for the red and blue channel relative to green. Turn off the internal camera color profile. What we want is the values that get the equal signal level for the free channel. And by my experience, if I set blue to 2, and the red to 1.4, I get something that looks like a white image. But you can also set red and blue to unity 1 and correct it later. At the bottom, you have parameters to correct for chroma aberration. We will come back to that later. Save the bio parameter and give it a name that you can recognize it later now, because you maybe need some different parameters depending on what lens or telescope you are using. Now we have come so long that we can set up the batch process. Go to the file menu and choose the batch processing. First, we choose which image or object files we want to use. Notice that the temperatures are from minus 4 to minus 2 centigrade. And now choose where you want to store the result. I have it on the local hard disk to get it a little bit faster. And it could be one file or many files depending on what process you are starting. And give it also a name. I have already run this process earlier and we take the same name but add a figure after it so you don't overwrite the earlier one. We go to the next process step, use the right arrow and now we want to dark calibrate it. Choose Subtract an image and then look for your master dark with the same temperature and ISO setting and exposure time. 
and as you remember the temperature was from minus 4 to minus 2. The closest temperature I have is plus 2 centigrade. That's a difference of 4 to 6 degrees. Not good. Choose the equals temperature. That will correct it somewhat. Go to next step. And now we want to flat calibrate it. That's a division. Search for your master flat with the right telescope and right setting for your optical system. This was a TS-130, a 5 inch refractor and a flat fill corrector. Uh, you can set automatic scaling. Next step Now we are coming to debiring the image or the images. That's when we recreate the colors and now we have use for our file we created earlier with the debayer values in. This time I chose the file with the setting for the gain correction already in the debayer step, but you can also choose unit gain and correct the colors later. Now we have come to the last step where we add the images together, the second process and we chose the standard process with more than two marks uh, more than two stars as a reference and we're just doing the add process Sigma, it's much more better to react satellite trucks and other things but that's a two steps process now we can start and uh, after a while start coming up images there we have it doing the subtracting now, now and then dividing and there we have it oh, not white but not too bad you will see if we take up the histogram it's a little bit too much gain for the red and blue channel and on the other side the sky background is not white it's more reddish now you want to find a reference star at least three of them and you can zoom in the picture by scrolling the wheel and try to find an isolated star and uh, make a square around it we can add a lot of them but this time only use three try to not to use two always saturated star because then the position will be, be a little bit diffuse you 
consider galaxy or there are more than one but you also see what heavy light pollution I have now I add a little bit more points because they were a little bit too close that square was a little bit too big you can right click on the inside the square and remove it you can also with a left button hold on it and move the square around we started and we come to the next image and we only just have to check if the program by automatic find where the reference star is and it looks okay and you also say the vignetting problem is very big in my system I have to rebuild it later it's a full frame camera it's a little bit difficult to handle and now I marked that I don't want to do any more controls and just let it do it and only warning if something happened now we got our stacked image let's take a look what you can use its work for if you place the cursor over the star you see the star profile and get some data for it and as you see there's a color on the image it should be more black place your mouse on the empty black area right click and choose the 15 by 15 pixels area for black point and then mark the galaxy center I will use this one to be the white point one pixel only because it's so small now we have a rough color corrected image there are a lot of advanced functions in Fritz work but if you prefer to use Photoshop for example you can just save this one and continue the work in Photoshop you can save the image uh, in a lot of different formats and I believe TIFF format is that one that you shall use for Photoshop I'm not a user of Photoshop so I'm not sure and if it can handle 32 bits you should use that 